So I'm working on a spoon here with some maple. Start out with a small gouge, vice. Small gouge will just get it started, and then I have a bigger gouge. Now, if you have some holly bushes or trees near your house, this is from my holly bush in the front. It's pretty big. Rounded it off here, hard as can be. Make an excellent mallet for doing work. Um, why am I not scooping it out? Well, I just find it better on my arm. And in general for uh, digging the bowl out. And when I use the gouge, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you after. It's, uh, it's pretty smooth. You almost don't have to sand it, but uh, there's little ridges, so you have to kind of fix it a little bit with this. But uh, that's what I'm doing here, so. Go little by little. I was going crazy before and I messed up my arm, but this is fine. Because if you push and go like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on your body, so. So I do this. Everybody does different, so. It's a lot of grain, but basically that that's pretty, it doesn't look it, but it is. Those are some ridges, but basically that is very, very smooth. And the ridges I'll get out with, uh, with this gouge here. And then I have other tools and hook knives and different tools I can, I can smooth that out with, but uh, yeah, this is what it's gonna be, so. Kinda hard to see with the light shining on it. Made it a little longer. And what I do here is I have a spoon that I like about the right size. So I kind of trace that out, but then I ex I extend the, the handle part a little bit on this one. I want this a little longer. So I'll make it deep enough to mix, but also maybe to scoop some stuff out too. So, but again, this is maple. See, this one seems to be working okay, very well seasoned, but I have a long way to go. I'm gonna cut here, cut here, chop this out, chop this out, and then I'll begin to work this into a spoon. You know, you've seen some of the other stuff I did, but uh, but that's what I'm doing. Um, I was actually in the hospital for four days. They're trying to tweak my heart with this AFib stuff. Thank God they finally got it after about a year and a half. So, but, uh, so we're, we're in pretty good shape here. But um, yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna continue with this. And then I'm gonna make a cut here with my, well, I'll start it with a, uh, I cut a small blade like this. Now, normally I don't do this, so most of my spoons I don't do this, but uh, starting to do it a little bit so I can get a little more wood out quicker. And you you don't bring it right up to the, the edge, you bring it close. And then you cut down with your hatchet and you get it close, but you make sure you cut it off here so you don't ruin your spoon. And uh, in this particular case, I'm you know, once I get the initial cut with that saw, I just showed you, I got my little Corona here and you can use a Baco or whatever you got. But, um, yeah, but let's say if you got some holly around your house and you're trimming the bushes, save these for mallets. I mean, they're just outstanding. So, but uh, that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to continue with this. And uh, <clears throat> you probably won't see the results right away in this video. Um, because uh, I don't want to do too much at one time with the you know with the arm and stuff, but I'll, I'll probably do a rough shape today. Get this out and do a rough shape on this, and uh, I'll take it from there. But uh, yeah, you know, my little workman's hat there. Yep, but uh, that's about it. But I'm going to be working on it. i got to dig that a little more. So, two 
pieces there. Cut the end off. I try not to make the end too thin until I'm done with most of this work here in case I have to do some pounding or whatever I have to do. Sometimes you could blow out, blow out the end. Or if your wood is over seasoned, <clears throat> you can blow your end out. In that case, you could gotta kind of make a scoop spoon out of it. But uh, yeah, these will, so when I split this down with the hatchet, it won't cut this bowl out. That's why these are in there and then you can fine tune it. So that's what's going on. Now I'm gonna start chopping. <clears throat> I had it bang pretty hard at first. <clears throat> so that's where the saw cut came in. It was really hard to cut at first. But, uh, sorry for the furnace noise, but that's the way it goes. So we're gonna this is my cold steel throwing axe. I use it for making spoons an awful lot. It was very hard to get this started. This is sugar maple. <clears throat> now it didn't cut as far as the last one, but that's okay. But I'll just chop that out and uh, that's okay. Now, one thing, I left too much of a point on the end there. I, that should have been flat. And the wood is pretty strong. Now, sometimes if that was weak or was right, I, I probably would have blew the end out, cracked it out. Um, took a chance. You always take a chance. But, uh, yeah. And then you just, uh, yeah. Uh, take a chance here, but uh, and you just kind of start. <clears throat> Get some of that off. But as close as I want to go on that one, <clears throat> and I'll start working. I'm just finishing up with this uh, sugar maple spoon. Oh man, it's like, at least a 
finishing part was like carving cast iron so basically I have to sand I haven't sanded it yet it's still pretty smooth in here from the gouges use the this knife the martini knife about 95% of the time a little touch up with this and a little touch up with uh, the beaver craft hook knife just uh, barely but basically and that's my true angle it's for broadheads, <clears throat> but it's true angle. I don't know if they still make it. I had this for years. Um, I sharpen my knives with it, even my hatchets. But uh, yeah, it's just a little uh, finishing it up. It's uh, going to be a, a big one. Yeah. Let's we'll see what happens. And it should come out darker, darker from what I've been seeing with uh, these pieces of wood. But, uh, yeah, I touch it up a little bit, and then I'll sand it. Probably 400 grit because it's relatively smooth. We'll see. But uh, that's what's going on. Beautiful day, nice day. This will be like a little serving spoon or mixing spoon or whatever. But uh, it's pretty strong. So that's what we're doing here, man. I'm going to do a whole video on it, you know, nothing fancy. You know, I consider myself a beginner for sure.